What about your husband? Well, now this is... No, 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 you can look at me, but, but what you're doing is, is, is you, were, you were talking and you were, th you, th you were thinking and you'd, you'd look that way and mm. all, all I get are these real bright lights on mm. your glasses. Mm. So, so talk to me, but if, you, you know, if you're kind of searching or whatever, then search that way. That's okay. Well, <laughs> I think one of uh, his greatest attributes, and we'll put the ridiculous first, is he is a good dancer. <laughs> and I used to think when I was a kid, if I ever got married, I wanted to marry a good dancer and somebody tall. So he, he qualified right there at the very beginning. And we used to have so much fun dancing. Dad, she, watch your, your hand on your microphone. Oh. You're, kind of, oh. you're kind of touching it. Oh. Yeah. And we jitterbug and we'd put on records at home and sometimes get up and dance. And I admired the fact that he was fair with the children. He was helpful to them. They maybe didn't think so and he would help them with their math they get into some screaming matches. But he is a very good mathematician and he likes to do things his way, which is perfectly all right when you're 35 and your child is 10. <laughs> and He's very thoughtful, thoughtful on birthdays, and he doesn't forget, like many men do, that you're having an anniversary or a birthday or something that where he can be kind and thoughtful. And I never worried about him because I knew that he always told the truth. And that was one of the things that I admired about him, that he took responsibility for things maybe that went wrong and that he felt he had a part in uh, making them go wrong. And he was always very helpful with the kids in taking the boys particularly with him when he would go to the store or go shopping. And he was kind of funny <laughs> with the girls because we had a new house over in Scottsdale and teenage girls are kind of messy and the three of them and plus Bill used the same bathroom and it was just a panic with curlers and Kleenex and lipstick and whatever. And he would walk down the hall and look in that bathroom when he would come home from work and say some not so nice things. But the kiddos would get in there and pick up their mess in a hurry. So he didn't let them get away with too much. 
uh, he's very good in talking things over. And go ahead. Sure. <laughs> I had one comment to make that when he talked, or I was talking to him, he had a hard time looking in my eyes. He would either look across the room or pick up a magazine and turn the pages. <laughs> and this is a little disconcerting to me, but I realized he was listening and he was thinking about what I was saying. And sometimes he did go to sleep during <laughs> my conversations. <laughs> But I made sure that he woke up. And uh, anyhow, he's a neat guy. 